Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. So today we're going to be looking at the equals function on Power Automate. Now what is the equals function for? It's for comparing two objects, such as strings or integers etc. And let's actually take a look at a string example first. So I've got a variable name and I've assigned Flojo string to that. And then I'm using the equals function and I'm passing in the variable and I'm comparing it to an actual string of Flojo. And what this is going to do is it's going to return true. So let's actually look at a number example, an integer. So I've assigned a one to the number variable and then I've done equals and I've passed in the number variable of one and I'm comparing it to two. So what I'm going to get back is false. So it allows you to compare two objects and if they are the same, it will return true. And if they are different, it will return false. So let's actually take a look at this on Power Automate then. Okay, so I'm on Power Automate and I've got a manual trigger for my flow. I also have a variable being set of flowjo and it's a string variable and I'm assigning the value of flowjo to that. I'm also creating a number variable, which is an integer and I'm assigning the value of one. Then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using the compose action to use the equals function and I'm going to pass in the flowjo variable and a string of flowjo so I'm comparing two strings there so we're expecting a true to come back when we run this then I'm using a do until loop now what I'm going to be doing then is passing the number and then I'm using an equal to so it's like the equals function we're using and it's going to be checking when this number equals to five and what we're going to do within this loop is we're going to check to see if the number ever equals three. So we're going to use compose again and we're going to use the equals function. We're going to pass in the variable of number and we're going to see if it equals to three. But what we're going to do is through each loop we're going to increment the number by one. So once this runs once it will go from one to two, two to three, three to four until we hit five. So we're expecting at some point the number to equal to three so we get a true back. So it will probably be false, false, and then true. Let's actually take a look. So let's just run the flow. Okay, so the variables have been set correctly and let's see what we get back for comparing the two strings. So you can see the two strings were the same, the equals ran and we got a true back. And then we use the do until loop. So the first one is going to be one. So does it equal to three? No, it doesn't. Then we increment the number again. So the number is now two. Let's check to see if the number is the same. No, it's not. So the number variable does not equal to three. At this point is two. Then we're incrementing the variable again. Let's go to the next one. So now the number variable is three and you can see that it actually equals to three. So the number variable equals the three that we passed in and it's passed in true. So we've got our result of true come back and then we increment it one last time and then it changes to false because the number variable is now four and not three. And that is how you use equals on Power Automate. It's as simple as passing in two different objects and comparing them to get a true or false result that's it from me, Flojo. Check out my blog at flojo.io for more guides on the Power Platform. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.